Hi, right now we're going to look at adding haiku assignments and looking at your grade book. So first we need to go to assess and then down to assignments. Um, those tabs are going to be available as soon as you make your class. Um, the grade book assignment is in the same place, so keep that in mind, but we're going to start with assignments. Of course, you just click add assignment. It's pretty intuitive. You can create your own title and titles are required. So um, you'll notice there's a little orange asterisk next to where I am typing at the moment. Um, after that, there are a number of options. You can include standards, you can provide a description, you can um, add your prompt right into that text box there. Additionally, you can just attach your prompt as a file, um, which we'll look at later, but here I'm just going to add in a little bit of a prompt. So you'll see below a number of options. Um, create assignment for all sections is selected by default. Of course, you can unselect it, or rather deselect it, um, and then pick the specific sections that you want to have this assignment for. This is especially helpful if you are teaching Spanish, for example, and you have some assignments for Spanish 1 and others for Spanish 2, and so on and so forth. Um, there is an option also to include a Dropbox for digital submission or to not include a Dropbox um, in the event that there will be a paper um, competency. And that is what I'm typing into the prompt now so that I can show you that we are not going to be adding a um, Dropbox. And you'll see that show in Dropbox option is unchecked, which means that scholars will not be able to submit digitally. You set, of course, your due date. Um, and when you have information that you need to edit, that little editing icon can be selected from the assignment page. And you can go ahead and change whatever you need to change by either selecting the options or typing them in directly. Haiku will read both. There you go. And now my due date has been changed, and I'm going to go ahead and um, show you how to set up a gradebook really quick. So we're going to use traditional grading, um, and that's just for the sake of the template that it provides to us. So I'm going to name my gradebooks um, individually. I have two courses, so I teach Applied Medical English, U.S. History, and Public Health, um, and I've named it the way I want to. Your naming convention is your own, but it should be obvious what it is so that scholars and parents can easily read it. Um, of course, you're using gradebook categories because we have competencies and formatives. Um, I like to round to one decimal point just because it's easier. Um, it's your prerogative if you want to round two or none. Um, you definitely want to select grade only, and I will go over the DLA grade rubric a little later. So here I'm adding the categories for your gradebook, and there is category weighting. Um, we're going to weight our competencies obviously at 100 and formatives at zero because they do not count towards a scholar's final grade. And you'll see now I have a gradebook. It's going to include all of my scholars that I've added into my roster, um, and there are obviously no assignments here at the moment, um, but we can add those later when we select the gradebook in our assignments. So we're going to go through that gradebook setup process just one more time because you're actually watching me set up my own class. So here we're going to select a gradebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click um, Edit Assignment, and then at the bottom you'll see Create Gradebook Entry. This is if I want scholars to see the grade on um, their gradebook and their parents are able to see it as well. Um, you can label it whichever category you want. You have to put a point value in there. I usually just put four, but it really doesn't affect the grade regardless because you're going to see um, the uh, the grade that you enter. As you may have noticed, I selected the Applied Medical English gradebook, and so when scholars go to their gradebook, um, they're going to have to select the Applied Medical English gradebook in order to see that assignment. And there you go. Now we have our first assignment in our gradebook. Publishing the entry is important. If you do not publish it, scholars won't see it. You'll see it. It'll stay there but it's not visible unless that little icon below the assignment title is orange. It turns orange once you publish. There you go. 